Hey YouTubers, I'm uh, going to do a little walk around on the Mustang and uh, she's pretty much all cleaned up and uh, done pretty much whatever I wanted to do to her and all the interior is put back together. I did the engine compartment, I masked off the fenders. Let's see, you may recall that this thing had a uh, Come on, one handed. Yeah, there we go. This thing had a bunch of overspray from the people who had painted it before. And uh, I took it apart, kind of cleaned her all up. The other video saw me doing a valve adjustment on it. Um, did the valve covers while they were off, sandblasted, painted them, sandblasted, painted the air cleaner. It just kind of, uh, uh, kind of semi flat or satin, whatever the hell you want to call it, black. The uh, rest of the engine compartment out. So that's where she is and comes that time in the life of a car and that's what's happening. She's going up for sale and uh, if any of you uh, long timers watched the first video, she was, um, the first comment I made is that uh, I kind of bought this car to flip and sell. So. Uh, I rode it around for the summer and got all the bugs out of her. Wanted to make sure I didn't sell a lemon to somebody. And uh, she's good to go. So that's this guy. Uh, as you can see, I paint all the headliner up there. I restored all the dash, door panels. So. As I said, she was kind of a practice car. And yeah, let me go grab something before we go. I am going to go play with uh, my 67 VW bus. She's been sitting in the tank garage over there probably about a year now. I threw a battery charger on it about 10, 15 minutes ago. I looked in the fuel bowl, the fuel bowl, the uh, fuel filter, clear. There's no fuel in it. I'm not sure if there's any in the tank, but uh, we'll bring a little prime just in case. But this is my next project, and what I'm starting on. It is the 6713 window deluxe bus. Um, came from uh, Vermont, about uh, four hours up from the uh, Mass New Hampshire border, about three years ago. And uh, I did a bunch of metal work on it, got kind of all straightened out and bondoed where uh, all the riveted metal was put on. It was all taken off and I rewelded a bunch of that. But I'll show a video of that later. later. We're just going to go try and fire her up now. And um, she shall start, pull her out. And uh, yeah. I still have you connected to my stand. So you have to sit here. Let's see what happens. Set you down in here somewhere pretty good. You know what? I gotta take you off the stand. Bear with me. Thought it would have been a good idea, but it wasn't. All right. I seem to remember taking the carburetor off of this thing for somebody else's. Let's go take a look out back. I generally don't like to leave very much fuel in the cars that are sitting, so that just may be the case with this thing. What we care about there is just put the light on. I'm not seeing anything in the fuel filter, but we'll fill the we'll fill the get the dirt out of there. Come on, get out of there. There's a horn that goes right into the, uh, the vent where the uh, 
Fopo. You can kind of backheat them. Let's see what that does for us. Like my seat. Comfy cozy. I'm starting to think we got dirty points. It's time you wish you had two people with you. One of you had a crank, I wanted to look to see what's going on. Oh, we smell gas. We got anything in the float pole yet? Fuel filter, nothing. The problem with these tank garages too, they're kind of humid. So they don't uh, lend themselves to uh, moisture very well. Well, you guys wanna go crank this for me? Let's see if we can go get the... Uh... Little file or piece of sandpaper. Alright. Hello. Yeah, we should have at least got a putter putter out of it. humid as hell today. It's like been raining off and on every twenty minutes. As I said one of the other times that uh, I'm real good at getting all the metal work done and the coat of bondo and stuff, but I always seem to drop the ball when it's time to paint them. So my goal is to try to start getting some of my projects caught up on. Come on. Let's pop something off. I felt it. What was it? Uh, well, let's see if that gives us anything. Pressure's going out. <laughs> there you go. I heard something. It was a little, a little something, something. All right. Let's just try going a little. Right down the throat. See if that does anything for us. Come on, baby, stay around it.
said I have. You got it for me? I want to disconnect that battery charger so I can pull forward. I guess not too bad for it sitting for a year. Now we got gas gurgling in there. She's kind of skipping a little bit. She's out of gas. Ah, oh, you suck. <laughs> We're out of gas. Well, I'm gonna go put some gas in the tank and uh, reprimer again. Uh, she did start for a little bit. And uh, I'll make another video. I'll fire up and drive her out and uh, do a little walk around and uh, talk about where we're going with this thing. But uh, thanks for watching. <laughs>